Kano Egito, the fifth Fang of Matsudo, is confirmed to have over 161 Kangen match wins. Today we have over 15 to break down from the Kangen Ashura and Kangen Omega series, presenting them via timeline wise in the Kangen universe. We know he was locked into a Goo ritual by the Tiger Nico at a very young age, and once he was found by Matsudo, he was the only survivor, defeating many others in the process. He also defeated Takiyama in his younger years many times, one of the current personal bodyguards for Matsudo, and was the one who did this to his jaw. Defeated Wakatsuki in the past, around 7-8 to eight years before the Kengen Ashura Annihilation Tournament, also doing this long lasting injury to his ankle. He defeated Nitoku before the Kengen Ashura Annihilation Tournament, and it's confirmed that he defeated this guy on screen now. These fights we don't get fully shown, just confirmed in these panels. Now, the full breakdown of the fights we have seen. In round 1 of the tournament, he faced Okubo. It begins with them charging one another, and Kano landing the first 3 strikes that already begin to do some significant damage, weakening Okubo down and allowing him to land more knees, until the counter finally occurs. This has Kano slammed on the ground, beginning the ground game via a heel hold being attempted, and various other counters which continues for some time, until Kano eventually launches Okubo away. This time, he's the one who outplays Kano and lands a monstrous blow, followed by a slam and more that's beginning to do some damage, continuing with a deadly dread kick sending Kano flying, leading to the reveal of his smile and that he went limp at the moment of the previous attack to disperse the impact. With Kano now adapting to Okubo, getting a speed amp and landing many blows that begin to push Okubo back, forcing him to try and evade into a grapple, but fails with Kano landing a deadly strike and a suplex that concludes Kano's first fight in the Kengen Ashura Annihilation Tournament. While he was talking to Wakatsuki in the hallway, we have Oma pull up to talk some shit. This ends with Kano landing a deadly kick that sent Oma bouncing and choked out by Matsudo's personal bodyguards. When it comes to his round 2 fight, he is facing Gaolang Mongswat, the world heavyweight boxing champion, beginning the standoff by taking the same boxing stance that Gaolang uses, meaning he plans to challenge the champion in boxing. Beginning with a pretty even exchange that continues for some time, until Gaolang lands a clean counter, that already does solid damage and allows Gaolang to continue overwhelming Kano, even making the Fang black out from the strikes, finally breaking out of the combo by spinning around to defuse the impact. It continues with a powerful strike from Kano that leads into the continued exchange of boxing strikes, with Kano once again getting outplayed. Begging the question of why is Kano still going down the boxing route in this fight, it's because Gaolang has now sealed everything but boxing away. For example, when Kano went for a kick, Gaolang was able to stop it before it even happened, forcing him to only use boxing now and continue to receive beatings that ends with Kano adapting once again. Knocking Gaolang to the ground with this weird movement, pulling out his formless style, to make a custom made martial art that was created on the spot to defeat Gao Lang. Now being the one to dominate in this fight, landing an elbow that would have finished Gao Lang if he didn't use a headbutt, forcing the champion to pull out his Muay Thai in combination with his boxing. Keeping up with the now evolved Kano and even forcing him to adapt further, but they seem to be very even with Gaolang putting everything on the line, slicing Kano with his elbows and being superior when it comes to blows still, landing a strike that seems to have forced Kano to drop his guard, however it was just bait, Kano used the Nico style technique known as indestructible and landed a counter that did major damage. Regardless, Gaolang continues to push forward, having his hand shattered from Kano blocking his strike with an elbow, but they continue with more exchanges that leads into Gaolang attempting his finishing blow that is avoided by Kano, who now uses Okubo's method of fighting to slam Gaolang and finish him with a kick. The end of Kano's round 2 fight. During the wait for round 3, Kano is challenged by the personal bodyguard Amori, who was actually a previous Fang, having their fight conclude with Kano evolving even further 
in preparation for his fight against Hatsumi Sen. Beginning with Sen approaching slowly until a big slash appears from Kano's kick, going into the range and blocking it, while still being sent back by the impact of the follow up, then Hatsumi begins dodging as the man who was supposed to be the Fang. Continuing with a charge and dodge again, allowing a strike to land and a counter as the response, regardless, Kano breaks out and goes for a kick that is blocked, leading into Hatsumi throwing one of his most deadly attacks, however, it is fully countered, with Kano now giving him a beating, forcing Hatsumi to attempt his ultimate attack, the Star Drop. This is once again fully countered by Kano, who does major damage with a blow, the 1 inch punch, which lands again, followed by another direct kick that drops Hatsumi. As such, Kano wins his round 3 fight, demonstrating his crazy improvements from the previous rounds. Before his next main fight, alongside Okoya when Hayami tried to take over the Kangen Association, they take out various amounts of his goons here but we eventually arrive at the semi-final fight against Kuroki Gensai. Beginning with the Devil Lance Throne that results in an exchange of pre-initiative flexing, having Kano be the first one to deal damage with two blows. However, it all changes with a real quick Devil Lance landing. Kano escapes and avoids the follow-up, throwing a bunch of strikes that fail to break through Kuroki's defense, who proceeds to dodge and attempt a counter that backfires. Continuing with Kano pulling out his formless, proceeding to throw many strikes and switch back to martial arts to catch Kuroki off guard, going back and forth between the two, overwhelming the master. However, not for long. Kuroki fixes his arm and more damage is done. The Devil Lance lives on. Kuroki proceeds to attack at the moment Kano switches between martial arts and formless, the small window which continues with significant damage landing, forcing Kano to evolve once again. Landing a kick that cracks Kuroki's ribs, the speed in which he's able to switch is now faster, landing more attacks, and then finally, he unleashes his dragon shot. However, this time, it was countered. Kano's wrist has been destroyed, and Kuroki has sustained major damage, so much he is acknowledging Kano as an equal. The climax approaches with Kano charging but is countered again and again until the final blow lands. Kuroki has claimed victory and defeated the Fang of Matsudo. This concludes Kano's fights in Kangen Ashura with it being revealed that Matsudo was the one who requested Kuroki to join the tournament for the purpose of actually defeating Kano, leading into him resigning as the Fang of Matsudo. Now we have a few fights from the ongoing sequel manga Kangen Omega, but first make sure you subscribe for more content like this. During the Purgatory Kangen tournament, around 2 years after the Kangen Ashura events, Kano is challenged by Lu Tien, someone who is revealed as a worm and a fellow survivor of the Gu ritual from the Tiger Nico. Beginning with Kano charging and overwhelming Lu Tien with a few kicks, forcing him to pull out his own formless, resulting in this insane exchange, until Lu Tien begins overwhelming Kano, revealing a difference between the two. Lu Tien was only taught the former style by the Tiger Nico, a more evolved, perfected version of it, while Kano just has the regular formless and some Nico style techniques. Regardless, Kano enters his martial arts stance, landing a few light blows until Lu Tien begins overwhelming him again, outplaying him on the ground to land a slam and a fury of kicks. Then the counter begins, with Kano switching between martial arts and formless, now having less lag than it did in Kangen Ashura. However, shockingly, Lu Tien reveals the removal, the secret technique of the Kure clan being used by a non Kure, smashing Kano away with his huge strength increase. However, he begins to go crazy as the percentage of the removal gets higher and higher without his control, allowing Kano to try and finish the fight, going for his dragon shot that lands and defeats Lu Tien. After that, we see Kano helping Koga with some of his training, of course being superior in this sparring match. Then his most recent fight in the manga, against Jurata, the judo master from Purgatory who's now joined the Kengen matches as a new evolved beast. 
This fight is for the spot in the up and coming real champion tournament. It begins with a charge that has Kano thrown to the ground, beginning the grappling exchange, resulting in Jirata to show him the might of judo and his insane raw strength. Kano lets go and attempts a strike that is countered with a slam that lands into a hold. However, Jirata just throws him away and continues with an exchange of strikes until Kano lands a more solid blow that is reversed with another judo throw. Regardless, both have suffered decent damage now. Continuing with another exchange of blows, with Kano switching between formless and martial arts, beginning to overwhelm Jirata, with an attempted chokehold occurring that has Jirata rise up and slam himself in Kano, doing more damage to the Fang due to his position of the slam. As such, Jirata lands another blow, but Kano doesn't go down and lands a quick dragon shot with a follow up knee to the face, but the remaining strength Jirata has was enough to slam Kano once again, failing to take him out with this, receiving a ground beating, then attempting to choke Kano out, who tries to get out but can't, throwing a strike that has both of them falling unconscious, however Jirata is the first to rise. As such, he is declared as the winner. This defeat didn't seem to have the same impact as the previous, but that's all Kano Gito's fight so far in the Kengen story. Of course, we're probably going to get more in the future, but considering he lost against Jirata and didn't get his spot in the real champion tournament, we're not going to be getting one for a little bit now most likely. But stay tuned for more content, shout out to these Patreon mad lads, that's it guys, peace.